Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tech Twins. Today we have a really special guest, Deep Shika, a student who's currently in the Management, Entrepreneurship and Technology program at UC Berkeley, which provides simultaneous degrees in engineering and business to students in four years. Today we want to offer insight into what the MET program is and how it works and advice for potential future applicants. We've gotten a lot of questions about what it's like to be in the MET program, but we wanted to ask someone who's actually in the program herself to answer all of your questions. So Deepshika, could you please introduce yourself? What's your name, um, major, year, and maybe a fun fact too? Okay, awesome. Hi guys, my name is Deepshika. I'm currently a sophomore studying electrical engineering and computer science and business. A fun fact about myself is I really like to dance, so I'm actually on the bonga team here at Berkeley. So to introduce what you're studying to people who might never have heard of it, what is the MET program at Berkeley? Um, can you give us a brief history and then also kind of explain how it's different than just being a regular student at Cal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the MET program at Berkeley, it was just created my year, so it started in 2017. Um, and it was actually created by someone who was on the board for Penn's MNT program, so the Management and Entre or Technology program at U University of Pennsylvania. What are you involved with on campus, and are you able to be extracurricularly involved while being in this program? Yeah, definitely. I think they really encourage us to have other interests outside of just engineering or business. Um, so they give us like a lot of resources to you know go out network with clubs do other things on campus like research and things like that so me personally I'm involved with a consulting club on campus called Voyager Consulting um, which I love and I highly recommend um, subtle plug but apart from that I also have a lab assistant position so I'm currently lab assisting for EE 16A which is an undergraduate electrical engineering course and then I also have a, another job on campus in which I help students with tech support and other related issues like that that. So as you probably have already experienced, studying engineering and business comes with a good amount of trade-offs um, and so maybe you're not able to be as extracurricularly involved as you might previously been able to if you're studying one major. What are those trade-offs and do you think it's been worth it for you? Yeah, definitely. So. I think one of the biggest trade-offs with studying engineering and business, um, and I'm sure you know this as well, is there's a lot of coursework for both majors. For me, it's pretty much planned out which courses I'm going to take for the for the next two years. Um, and overall, just like when you come in as a freshman, it's pretty planned out where you're going to take for four years. However, as a disclaimer, you don't need to come in with any APs. They plan their curriculum as if you were coming in with zero credits from high school. So there's no worries about that, but it is a pretty like difficult schedule and you have to balance around 18 to 20 units each semester on top of any other commitments that you may have. And while I do enjoy both classes, sometimes it does get to be a bit much when you have both your technical engineering classes and your your business classes and you don't know which one you want to focus on more because um, I personally came from an engineering background so I didn't have too much business experience in high school and so for me it was intuitively more um, interesting to focus on my engineering classes and then kind of brush off some of my more business classes because they were more general but it's it's hard to go very specific into each discipline just because you have to take all the general undergraduate classes first before you can specialize in the upper divs. I also think that when in this program especially I've noticed that a lot of the students they tend to focus on like one specific inter intersection of the two and it's not really just a general study of like engineering or business so I know a lot of people have like a product management focus or they have like a quant focus where they want to take a lot of the like super finance the classes in Haas um, along with like the probability like stats in, in the electrical engineering department. So Deepshika, what specifically is different about MET than just doing regular simultaneous degrees in these majors separately? So for example, are there any classes that overlap for MET that don't overlap for other majors? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the requirements for the engineering degree and the requirements for the business degree, if you do them separately, it can come out to be a lot of coursework because you have to do all of your engineering humanities requirements as well as the seven breaths and your um, Haas prerequisites if you're going the pre Haas route. So through MET, they give us a little bit of flexibility with overlapping some of the two classes. So for example, um, Physics 7A and 7B, which are the requirements for the engineering school, count as a 
physical science breath um, for Haas. And there's other requirements like that. For example, my AP Bio credit counted as a natural science breath as well, which I don't believe it counts for if you're a normal student studying Haas. One thing you were talking about earlier was the culture of the MET program and how it makes a really big school like Berkeley feel a little bit smaller. So is that another benefit of doing this program? Yeah, I would definitely say that's really true. Um, when I came in as an out-of-state student, it was really nice for me to have that existing cohort, um, the 40 students for my year, and this year there's another 50 students. So I know just from talking to people that it makes them feel a lot more comfortable in the school and a lot more safe like also in their academics because they always have a group of people to talk to and ask questions or just work on things together or just talk and have fun together. Um, another thing that they do really well, and the program staff are all amazing and they, they all advise us super closely, but they do plan a lot of events um, for us to get more involved in the tech world, in the like VC world, and whatever interests that we may have that in that cohort. So we've had a lot of different events in the past. For example, we've had a fireside chat with the CEO of Eventbrite, um, Julia Hart, um, or talking to people from like Anchor Capital, like the CEO of that. And we've gotten to know a lot about like different industries. And we've had the chance to talk to CEOs like one-on-one, -on -one, uh, I mean, in a 40 to one setting, but in, it's, a good you know, it's a pretty good ratio. <laughs> I mean, a lot of these CEOs like will never come to Berkeley, like they'll just send their like you know the recruiters to campus but we get a chance to actually interact with them one-on-one -on -one and like ask any questions that we may have about you know their like their journey like their whole story and how they like got to where they are today and honestly that's been a very eye-opening part of it for me and just like interacting with the board members and seeing how invested they are in the program just makes us all motivated to you know do better like and like use the resources of the program to actually like make a difference. So MET seems like a really cool program for any high school students who are interested in both engineering and business, but you can't just apply and get it. So the program's <laughs> acceptance rate, I think is around 2%, if not less. So what advice do you have for these high school students who are maybe like budding venture capitalists or entrepreneurs? Yeah, definitely. So I think the application is pretty much the UC application and then you fill out a separate essay um, talking about why you want to get into the MET program or why you think it would benefit you and what your interests are. I think it's very important that you're genuine about your response and it's not just a generic answer about, oh, I want to start a startup. I'm really interested in entrepreneurship. When I've talked to a lot of the other students, they all seem to have a very like specific focus in like what they want to do and what they really want to use this degree for. And while they may not be completely decided in like their career path, it's like they have that clear interest section in mind and that's what made them very good candidates for the program I feel like um, and just when talking to a lot of the people who are admitted just this past year um, we were actually pretty involved not with choosing the applicants but talking to them afterwards and pitching the MET program to them and while they do have an entrepreneurship focus they're all also very varied in their backgrounds so while you know, there may be like a lot of EECS majors or a lot of IOR majors. They do have like other interests outside of that that make them like more well-rounded and a more like unique candidate for the program who doesn't just code their whole, like their whole high school career or just do like one type of like engineering discipline. Awesome. That was super helpful, I'm sure, for anyone who's either in college right now at Berkeley who was curious about what the MET program is like or for high school students who want to apply in the future. So thank you so much, Deepshika, for sharing your insight, um, and we'll catch you next time.